Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope that you're doing well. And it is Tuesday um, after Labor Day and so excited to share with you some things today. So I've gotten some questions about my Patreon community and I wanted to share with you one of the things that we do in the Patreon community. So um, Mid-Autumn Moon Festival is the second largest festival in China. It is this Saturday. So, so I'm going to share with you um, my recent post that I just put up on my Patreon page. So this gives you an example of what the content looks like that is there. So um, first things first, let me move this over and make this slightly bigger so that we all can see it nicely and you don't get to see all of my lovely back screen. Um, but this is what, um, this is a, a pretty typical content post that I might put up on my Patreon page. Um, the lowest price that you can get to enter and be a part of the community um, is less than a cup of coffee, friends. It is five bucks a month. So um, it's a lot of content that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in slideshow mode so you can see it a little bit bigger. Um, but Mid-Autumn Moon Festival um, is, is all these different things. So there's lots of different things. They're making curry lanterns. You eat mooncakes. My daughter and I are making some next weekend, next Saturday. And then we'll have a little picnic out underneath the moon um, and all these different things. So here's some information about the moon festival. It's also called Mooncake Festival. It's also, I can't, don't think I want to pronounce the Chinese because I probably would, would do it badly. Um, but Mid-Autumn Moon Festival. So it's a, it's actually a story that goes along with it of Chang Yi. She's the Chinese goddess of the moon. This is a very short little three minute, less than three minute video you can share with your students. And um, then some different things you could do um, around Mid-Autumn Moon Festival. You can use recorded music, um, use for mirroring or with movement cards and with slides. There's on the following slides, there are some, um, some different movement things that you can do and you can print out some cards to use with different pieces of music. So um, here they are. And this is something you get in the um, community. You would get access to all this stuff and be able to print all this stuff off. And um, there's a lot of content already up there, as well as there's monthly mini workshops that we have. This month, we have Janae Julian, who's going to be sharing with us um, a new book, and very excited to have her with us. Um, and that's um, next week. So very excited. Um, here's some other children's literature that involves um, the Mooncake Festival or a Mid-Autumn Moon Festival, um, and then children's literature. Um, and one of my favorite things is just kind of scowl and, and just scroll through um, Instagram and see what I can find there. Um, and there's a lovely person on there, Home Sweet Holmes, and she is just amazing, Mariah Holmes. She shared a really wonderful idea for using a three-star drum pattern with this book, Round is a Mooncake, which it just works out perfectly. Um, and then you can see the video here of the I tell you where to start. I see start at 11 minutes and 30 seconds in to see the three-star drum pattern. You could easily do it also as body percussion. And this would be great for older students. I wouldn't say anybody younger than like, I, I don't even know if my third graders would be able to do it, but definitely my fourth and fifth could do it. Um, and then building blocks using the same books, small groups could use to be building blocks. And here are the building blocks. And these are all about shapes because the book is called Round is a Mooncake. Um, and then another thing that you could do would be to use some moon poetry. Um, this one is a really loved one, The Night Will Never Stay by Eleanor Fargian. And you could add a simple ostinati with this and some movement. Um, you could add a melody to it. You could have small groups compose um, haiku around this idea about the moon. Um, this could be a lovely performance piece as well. And then of course the song Moon 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 by Laurie Berkner. And then you follow the moon contour for the chorus of the song. And here's the moon contour. Moon, 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 and so on and so forth. And there's the whole slideshow for that. So um, there's a lot of fun stuff on there that you can use with your kiddos. And I hope that you do something around Mid-Autumn Moon Festival because it is super, super neat to learn about other cultures and how they celebrate the moon because there are many places in the world that celebrate the moon. So listen, friends, I hope you have a great week 
and we'll see you soon. Take care.